Canvas tents are a great choice if you're more concerned about durability and comfort than you are about weight and price. If you're doing some backcountry backpacking adventure, stick to something synthetic and lightweight. But if you're car camping or gonna stay for more than a few days, or perhaps you're packing in with animals or setting up a hunting camp, Canvas is a great way to go. I'm gonna go through nine questions that are frequently asked on the internet. These are things people actually search on Google, and you might be wondering the same thing. Question number one, do canvas tents need waterproofing? If you have properly seasoned your canvas tent, it is essentially waterproof. There shouldn't be any need for additional waterproofing treatments. However, if your canvas tent is maybe old or has been in storage for a while or wasn't properly seasoned in the first place, it may need some treatment. If you notice certain problem areas that are leaking, you can just waterproof spots on the tent or along seams with some seam tape or some basic silicon spray. Check with the manufacturer of your tent to see what they recommend, but there may be some spot treatment you can do. And as with all waterproofing materials or products, it's going to wear out, it won't last forever, so you may need to retreat on occasion. My experience, as long as you properly care for your canvas tent, you really don't need to add additional waterproofing. Question number two, how do you season your canvas tent? I actually did a full video tutorial on this, so be sure to check that out for a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. But essentially what seasoning your canvas tent is, is preparing that new cotton canvas to shed water better. This is a repetitive process. It could be done over several days, could be done just in your backyard. That's how I typically do it. First, it involves setting up the tent as it should be pitched properly. And then it involves wetting it down with a hose or sprinkling water on it in some way so that it gets fully wet. What you're trying to do is get all those cotton canvas fibers to swell up and seal back together tightly, especially along the seams where there may be stitch holes and spots that are exposed to letting more water in. Seasoning a canvas tent is a fairly permanent and natural way to treat your tent and make sure it will be waterproof for years to come. And generally, it only needs to be done the once. This brings us to the next two questions that are very closely related. One is, are canvas tents waterproof? Canvas is made of sustainable, naturally water-resistant cotton material. Most manufacturers also use some sort of waterproofing treatment before it ever gets cut and sewn into a canvas tent. However, canvas tents may not be 100% waterproof right out of the box. That's why it is essential that you season your tent. Follow that step-by-step -step guide I provided if you've just got a new canvas tent. And a closely related question to that is, are canvas tents good in the rain? In my experience, yes, they are excellent in the rain. In fact, this canvas tent you see behind me, I've been camping in it this week with my family. We had quite a rainstorm, almost 24 hours of straight rain, very consistent. And it was excellent. The combination of surface tension and a well-seasoned canvas tent will make it shed water wonderfully. Now, it's very important that the tent be pitched properly. I learned that because we got a little bit of water coming inside this week during an extended rainstorm, and that was largely because I didn't set guy lines and have the roof pitched in a way that it was shedding water properly. So as long as you pitch it properly, you're gonna be just fine. All right, I promise this is the last frequently asked question related to water, but that is a big question people have around canvas tents. Do canvas tents get condensation on the walls inside? The answer to that is sort of, but not how you think. You're probably asking that question because you're thinking about a nylon or a synthetic like polyester tent that you've slept in before. Canvas does not act the same way. Condensation occurs when warm, humid air meets a cold surface or when there's so much water vapor that the air can't hold it or suspend it any longer. Both of these events can occur quickly while camping and they often do especially at night. While condensation is unavoidable, the cotton in canvas is absorbent and it tends not to produce those drips that form along the tent walls, like you may have seen in a polyester or nylon tent. Synthetic materials are simply not as breathable as cotton, so they do produce those annoying drips that can get you and your gear wet inside. Are canvas tents warm? Now this question is usually asked by people that are interested in camping in the winter or all year long. And yes, a lot of canvas tents are very warm. In fact, any canvas tent is made of typically what they call duck canvas or cotton duck canvas. They're not made of ducks, but it refers to the fact that it sheds water like a duck. And that's usually because of the waterproofing treatment that we already talked about. It's a thicker material 
that is also breathable, but it provides a great barrier between you and the wind, and it also keeps warm air in better in the winter. And a lot of canvas tents are hot tent ready. This is a nice tent stove that I'm using in here, and we were warm all night long. I only slept with a blanket in my underwear, and I was fine. Canvas tents can be very warm, especially if you have a hot tent system put in there. Now for you summer and fair weather campers, the next question might be, are tents too hot in the summertime? When you're camping in hot weather, being hot in your tent sucks, and often synthetic tents are very hot inside. Luckily for you, that same canvas material that keeps the cold at bay in the winter will keep the sun at bay in the summer. It breathes so well that you tend to get excellent ventilation in a canvas tent, and my experience has been that they stay very cool in the summer relative to a synthetic tent. Most of them will have numerous windows that open with big mesh panels. This one has a big mesh door and you can get a lot of airflow going through there. So I find these to be very comfortable in the summer relative to the alternatives. Now, unlike putting a tent stove in your tent in the winter to keep you warm, you can't really put an air conditioner in your tent in the summer. However, these canvas tents do tend to stay quite cool. And many of them will also provide some kind of vents near the top to let that hot air that rises out. So canvas tents are a great option for hot weather camping. How long does it take to set up a canvas tent? This is a question a lot of people ask because they think that for some reason, because it's larger or heavier, that it's more complicated to set up. That depends. A tent like this, this spring bar design, and it's available from other brands as well, like Kodiak or White Duck Outdoors or Teton Sports, these set up very fast. I can set up this tent by myself in about 10 minutes. The biggest difference with these tents compared to a lot of the synthetic tents out there is that they are not freestanding. Almost always you're going to have to drive stakes in the ground first and then raise your tent. It's the same with a bell tent. You'll have many stakes in a circular pattern. You'll have to put in the ground before you set that center pole to raise it up and then you'll have additional guy lines and stakes to put out. But you're also getting the advantages of that because you have a bigger tent and a more comfortable tent to stay in. So depending on the design of the tent you're using, you might plan on anywhere between 10 minutes and as many as 30 or 45 minutes for those bigger cabin tents to set up or wall tents. The final question is how do you maintain a canvas tent? I will admit that this is an area where canvas tents do require a bit extra work compared to a synthetic nylon or polyester tent. There are a few things that can go wrong. One, you can get a tear or a rip, but in that case, it's great because you can actually stitch it or repair it. It's, you can usually do that with just a needle and thread at home, or a lot of these canvas tent companies will provide that service if you wish to have it done professionally. But unlike a synthetic polyester tent that once it rips, it's pretty much done. You might stave off the devastation with some duct tape for a while, a canvas tent can last a good long time after an incident. Besides that, you have things like weatherproofing to consider. Every few years, perhaps you notice a little leak developing and maybe you need to shore up something to apply some seam seal or some silicon spray to spot treat a few areas. But the biggest type of maintenance you must absolutely do with a canvas tent is keep it dry. Because it's cotton, it will absorb some of that moisture, so it needs to thoroughly dry before you pack it up in its original packaging and you stow it away. When you get home, if it's rain or if it's wet at all, you really need to lay it out, bring it out to dry. That might happen by dripping it over a fence. If you have space in your garage, you could do it there but you must get that tent entirely dry before you pack it away. Otherwise, you're gonna see mildew and mold form and that could lead to rot in the canvas. Then you've got a bigger issue that may not be easily remediated. So it's absolutely got to stay dry. You should also keep the zippers clean. You know, camping with the dirt and the dust, they might get dirty. You can always clean those out if they get really bad with a toothbrush and a little bit of soapy water. Or you can apply some silicon spray to the zippers that will make them run a lot smoother. That's a little trick for you. You will also want to clean your canvas tent regularly. Now, even just in regular use, you're gonna get some dirt on the canvas and that's gonna show up. To take care of that, you can typically just get a sponge and some soapy water and rub on it, or you could use a solution like four parts water, one part vinegar to get that out. If it bothers you, frankly, I use these for camping. I really don't pay too much attention to the dirty spots. I just expect that that's part of the program and I take it out and go camping in the dirt again. Big deal. That's it folks. Nine frequently asked questions about canvas tents have been answered. I hope that video was helpful. If it was, I invite you to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks and gear reviews like this. And 
what I suggest you do next is go check out my video here on the best canvas tents. I set up four of the top of the line tents you can find. I compare them side by side. So if you're shopping for a canvas tent, that's gonna be really helpful to you.